In this video today, we're going to be talking about key issues of comic books that are hot and trending for summer 2020. Coming at ya. Hello to all of my comic book collectors that are excited about comic book key issues that are trending for summer 2020. I am Dante D and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. So I was kind of a little bit curious about what key issues of comic books are trending for summer 2020. We have a lot of new content uh, coming out on Netflix and Disney Plus and in, in theaters, which I assumed would be uh, making the prices of some particular comic books spike. And what I found half surprised me and half didn't. But before we get into our video, yes, you guessed it. Please remember to subscribe for the 10K subscriber challenge. It's what I've been rambling on about for the last two months. Basically, you subscribe to the channel, comment on some videos, and you're automatically entered to win one of many fabulous comic book prizes. If you want to know what comic book prizes are being given away, check out the video that we did not too long ago uh, in which I go over some of the prizes that are being given away once the channel reaches 10,000 subscribers. Also, please check out the channel's merch store that we recently overhauled. We have a lot of cool geeky tea designs uh, that are available at the store now. And today's featured tea is Gremis Thanos. Yes, he is just as inevitable as a McDonald's fast food restaurant. Let her go, Grimace. I am inevitable. This design and many others like it are available at the merch store now if you would like to help support the channel. When I was looking up some of the hyped about key issues for summer 2020, I found a little bit of a theme. Basically, anything Spider-Gwen, Miles Morales, Carnage, or Venom is really spiking in price. So it's no surprise that the first book on our list is Ultimate Fallout number four, which is the first appearance of Miles Morales. And basically anything Miles Morales of late has been spiking in price. There have been some rumors that Miles Morales will be making an appearance in the next wave of MCU films. And I think this is almost a certainty. I, I know for sure he will definitely be making an appearance. It's just a matter of when. Now, the prices on this book currently are a little bit all over the place, but you can definitely expect to pay over $100 for this book. Now, in this video here today, I'm gonna to be doing something called a reader's pick. I understand that some of the viewers out there are interested in owning these stories that are in these comic books in some capacity or another, even if they don't go and pick up these particular issues. So I'm going to be recommending some trades for those of you that really just want to read the story because at the end of the day, comic book collecting is first and foremost a reading hobby. And I am a huge proponent of people reading and enjoying comic books, even if what they're reading isn't necessarily collectible. I myself am more of a reader than a collector. For this book here, there's the standard direct market edition, but then there's also the newsstand variant as well as a another uh, just variant cover for this book. And those variants are going for much, much higher prices than the standard edition. Any edition that you own of this comic right now is going to be collectible. Reader's pick, if you don't want to dish out the money for Ultimate Fallout, number four is the Ultimate Fallout Trade Paperback, which collects Ultimate Fallout number one to six. Highly recommend this trade paperback. If you'd like to pick up this book today, there is a link in the description. The next book is one that I didn't even know about, and that is Star Wars Clone Wars number one, which was published by Dark Horse Comics, and this is the first appearance of Ahsoka Tano. And if you don't know Ahsoka, uh, she's a character that's a fan favorite. She made her first appearance in the animated Clone Wars movie, which then became a television series. And she actually is a great character. I don't know this character very well from comic books. However, I'm a huge reader of Star Wars novels. And there is a great Ahsoka Tano novel out there. That's a, It's actually a young adult novel, but it's, it's great nevertheless, uh, which you can also pick up. There is a link in the description. Following that, we have this particular issue of Edge of Spider-Verse, and this is the first 
appearance of Spider Gwen. And Spider Gwen is a hot, hot character right now. Not just because uh, it's basically Gwen Stacy's resurrection. They, they bring Gwen Stacy back after she's been dead for many, many years, since the 1970s. But the story of Spider Gwen really closely intertwines with that of Miles Morales. Therefore, you have the popularity of Gwen Stacy as well as her relation to Miles Morales. That makes for a very, very hot key issue. This book here is currently listed on eBay for in and around $250, which is a huge, huge price. But if you don't want to dish out the cash for this book, you need not worry. The reader's pick for this is the Edge of Spider-Verse trade paperback, which you can pick up by simply clicking the link in the description. Amazing Spider-Man number four. No, 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 not that Amazing Spider-Man number four. This Amazing Spider-Man number four. This is from 2014. Uh, this, this was an original Sin tie-in. And uh, this was around the time that I was starting to get really ticked off with Marvel and uh, their numerous relaunches. Uh, I really liked Dan Slott on Amazing Spider-Man. However, I do not like uh, Humberto Ramos's art. I just find it really cartoony and, and, and childish, if, if you ask me. But that's just my opinion. Uh, this book right here is the first appearance of Cindy Moon, who is also known as Silk. Uh, I have to say, in, in the story, uh, the relationship between Peter Parker and Silk is really, really interesting, and it's actually funny at times. Uh, this book is currently going for uh, about $100 on eBay. Silk is another one of those characters that has a little bit of connection with Miles Morales, so I think that's where all the hype is uh, coming from for this book. Uh, if you don't want to dish out the money, uh, but you're interested in reading uh, this particular issue of Amazing Spider-Man, I would highly suggest the reader's pick, which is Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1, which is titled The Parker Luck. The link is in the description. Batman Adventures number 12. It had to happen. It, it just had to happen. It, ha it had to be on here. I cannot tell you how hot of a character Harley Quinn is. She's probably the most popular character to come out of the 1990s right next to Deadpool. Like the, the, the popularity rise for this character is like, is unbelievable. I, I, people just eat up anything Harley Quinn. This character is so hot right now. I actually mentioned this particular book in another video uh, that I posted probably only three weeks ago. So definitely a good addition to any comic book collection. The only problem is this book here is quite expensive. Uh, current prices that I saw were in at around $750, even more upwards towards a thousand. It is just stupid expensive right now. All the hype over this book most certainly is just due to the fact that it's the first appearance of Harley Quinn, but uh, there's also a James Gunn Suicide Squad movie that is uh, slated for release sometime in the future. If you're interested in reading Harley Quinn's first appearance, the reader's pick for this book is Batman Adventures Volume 2, which definitely includes Harley Quinn in her first appearance. You can check out the link in the description to Find your way to Harley Quinn's first appearance. Venom number three, and this is the first appearance of Null. And if you don't know who Null is, Null is the symbiote god. This is just really cool. Anything Venom right now is really spiking in price. You can expect to pay upwards of $130 for this particular issue. Amazing Spider-Man number 361. This is another book that is so hot right now that I actually spoke about it in that same video that I spoke about Harley Quinn only a few weeks ago. Anything Carnage right now is super, super hot. And that definitely is because Carnage will be making an appearance in the next Venom movie. And uh, Carnage will be played by Woody Harrelson, which I think is He's perfectly casted for that role. This book right now is currently going for upwards of $120. Heck, it could probably even be going for more, which really, 
I'm really taken aback by that because I remember when I bought this book, and I bought it probably about seven, maybe seven years ago, seven, eight years ago, uh, I only spent like seven, seven or ten bucks on it. I, I know for sure I did not spend more than ten dollars on this book. So when I saw this, I was like, what? Seriously? That's how much that's going for? Of course, if you don't want to spend $120 or more on this book, I totally understand. Reader's pick for this book is Spider-Man, The Many Hosts of Carnage Trade paperback. This trade paperback does feature Amazing Spider-Man 361, which is the first appearance of Carnage. So you want to read Carnage in his first appearance, you don't have to spend that amount of cash. Link for that book is in the description. We'll be talking about Venom a little bit later on in the video. So if you want to do a double whammy and get the first appearance of Venom, as well as the first appearance of Carnage, I highly recommend picking up this honking doorstop of an omnibus which is Spider-Man vs. Venom with awesome, beautiful art by Todd McFarlane on the front. This here has Venom in his first appearance as well as Carnage in his first appearance as well as many other books. I don't know if you could see here. This is all the comics that are in this book. And th this thing's huge. I haven't read it all yet. Uh, I actually got it for Christmas. Um, Christmas 2019 and I was like super stoked uh, about this because I'm a huge Venom and Carnage fan. Of course, omnibuses are a little bit more expensive than trade paperbacks, uh, but if you really want great value uh, for what you're spending, I highly recommend picking up the omnibus. Not sure if it's still in print, but I have included a link in the description to where you can pick up this book. Batman 251, another recurring issue. I talked about this book not too long ago as well. And uh, this book here is not even the first appearance of anyone. Like, the value of this book is just insane right now. Um, it's not the first appearance of the Joker, clearly. Uh, it is a classic cover by Neil Adams. And uh, some people tote this book as the return of the Joker to his darker roots. Because for a while, the Joker kind of got silly in uh, the 1950s and 60s. Uh, he was kind of akin more to what you would expect from the Batman 66 TV show, where he's, more of, he's essentially more of a clown. But here in this issue, we see him again as a psychopathic murdering maniac. Love this book, have it in my own collection. Problem is, quite expensive. You can expect to pay anywhere between $200 to $1,000 for this book, depending on the condition. I highly recommend that you pick up the reader's pick for this particular book here because it includes this issue here, but it also includes Batman 232, which is the first appearance of Ra's al Ghul, which is another book that is, is awesome. Also very expensive, but not really hyped about right now, just because there isn't really any hype surrounding Ra's al Ghul. Savage She-Hulk number one. This is another book that's really hyped about right now and has increased in price uh, lately. I remember when this book was like maybe $50, uh, and I should have picked it up then because right now it is going for two, $300. Uh, it's, it's actually insane. Uh, and, and the hype around this book is mostly because of the uh, Disney Plus series about the She-Hulk, which I believe just started filming this month in, in July 2020. When it comes to reader's pick for this book, unfortunately there aren't a lot of choices. The best I could do is recommend Marvel Masterworks Savage She-Hulk. Uh, and this collects Savage She-Hulk number 1 to 14. Uh, it is a hardcover book, so it is slightly more expensive, but if you are interested in picking it up, the link is in the description. And lastly, we have Amazing Spider-Man number 300. This is probably one of my favorites that is on the list. I have this book in my collection, and I remember when I bought it, I was just stoked. This is the first appearance of Venom, and it is a great read it. Amazing Spider-Man number 250 to like 350 is just amazing. You, you literally cannot put it down. It's I just love it. This book has steadily been going up in value over the years. I remember when I picked this book up, I actually spent $100 for it. Uh, but now it is 
about 300 and, and even more depending on condition. Of course, if you want to read Venom's first appearance without spending all the money, I would recommend the reader's pick for this, which is the Birth of Venom trade paperback, which includes the first appearance of Venom. It's actually a really, really nice trade. I don't own it, but I, I have seen it. Uh, and the only reason why I don't own it is because, like I said, I have the uh, Spider or the Venom vs. Spider-Man Omnibus, which includes uh, that particular issue as well as the first appearance of uh, Carnage. So if you're interested in either the Omnibus or this trade, link of course is in the description for you. So that about does it for our video today. I really hoped that you enjoyed it. Are there any other issues that are really trending right now that are really hot and hyped about that I am not aware of or that I did not talk about? Please let me know in the description. I always love hearing from you. Until next time, this is Dante D signing off. I will see you all in the next episode.